They're also looking for uh, various uh, compositional signatures in the ejecta cloud. We have two <coughs> uh, thermal cameras that will measure the temperatures at two different wavelengths of the ejecta cloud in the flash. We have a three-color uh, uh, camera also. This is a context camera. It allows us just to understand exactly where we went and where we hit. We have then two near-infrared cameras. These two near-infrared cameras are sensitive to water ice and uh, composition. They're at two different wavelengths, and they provide context for the near-infrared spectrometers. And then we have a unique instrument developed by uh, NASA Ames just to measure the flash of the impact, the total luminescence photometer. It's actually the first instrument that will give us some kind of clue as to uh, of the presence of volatiles in a crater. Uh, LCROSS is not the only observatory that will be looking at this. We have uh, observatories all around the wor uh, world that will be looking. We have observatories in space that will be looking, and we have observatories at the moon that will be looking. This is truly unique. I don't think there's ever been a mission that's had so many assets looking at the same time uh, since uh, maybe the uh, Shoemaker-Levy comet impact at Jupiter. Uh, this last graphic showed all the various uh, observatories that we have. Uh, we have the uh, primary observatories over in, in Hawaii because the impact will be timed to occur, so that's in good view.